very honored and pleased to introduce to you our new president of the Pawnee Nation. And so at this time, we'll hear from our new leader. Thank you. I, 
I've worked a lot of jobs. I've done a lot of things in, in, in my life and, and been a lot of places and, and things. And, and, um, but I've never, I never said when I was young, oh, I, I want to be the uh, Pawnee Business Council you know, president. I never, never said that. And, and yet here today, I'm here, and, and I want to acknowledge Creator God, Matthias, you know, for his many blessings, for his help in my life, for the things that he has given me, blessed me with a wonderful wife and, and a wonderful family, and, and, and all of my, my family here and, and things. And, and God has blessed me in, in that way. Uh, so, so many times I'm undeserving of, of his blessings and his goodness, but you know, God is good that way to, to not only myself, but to, to each one of him. I mean, each one of you. And so I want to acknowledge uh, our, our Creator for that. You know, I, I was thinking about the things that I've done, and, and, and it, it made me remember the, the first job that I had. The first job that I had, I, I believe I was about 14 years old, and, and uh, my sister, Melanie, who's, who's went on to be with the Lord, but my sister and I, we were um, uh, custodians. We were the cleanup people for... Uh, a dental office in Newport, California. My mom worked there at the office, and, and uh, they, they needed somebody to clean up, and so my sister and I applied, and, and so, somehow we got it. We got that position. And so uh, so every night, Monday through Friday, we would go over there, and we would we would clean up and, uh, and, and keep that clean and, and that place. And I remember one night, we went into that office, and, and uh, we were cleaning, and she had her part, and I had my part, and I was just cleaning. And my sister was back there, and they used to have a, a radio station, I mean, a radio there, and it, it had loudspeakers to all the, the uh, offices. And, and so we would turn it on, and we would turn it to a, a, a station, and they would play that music. And so she was back there, and my sister always liked to sing, so she was back there, and I could hear her sing as she was doing the singing, as she was doing her, her cleaning and things. And, and after a while, she was really, really into that song. And I don't know if you remember that song, some of you my age, that um, the DeFranco song. Heartbeat, it's a love beat. And when will beat, it's a good sensation. <laughs> well, my sister was singing that song because it was on the radio. And she was getting louder and louder and louder. And I could hear her, and I, she was really, you know, a heartbeat, it's a love beat. And then she was really going. And I said, what, what's going on? What's, what's happening? Where, where, what's happening with her? So I went back there, and I went back there, and I said, looked at my sister, Melanie, and I said, Melanie, what, what's, what are you doing? She was, oh, Bruce, oh, Bruce, I just want to tell you that I just love you. I love you. You're my brother, I love you. She came over, she hugged me. She was really hugging me, and she was really talking fast and all of that. And I heard a and I, I, and I was I was in that room with her, and after a while, I started feeling pretty good myself. I was feeling really happy. I love Melanie, I love you too. She earned a lot of love in there. What had happened? Someone had broken into that office and had turned that laughing gas on. <laughs> I guess they left it on. When we came in, they went out, but they left it on. And so we had a good sensation. <laughs> I was thinking about that this morning. Good, good memories like that and, and things. And, you, you, you know, that's, that's, that's what God gives us. He gives us the opportunity to, to, to make good memories. And you know, that's, that's what I want for the Pawnee Nation, for the Pawnee Business Council, for, for this, this council to do great and mighty things, to, 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 to take us to places where we've never been before, and, 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 and to have our people to be blessed in, in such a great and mighty way. That's, that's, that's my desire for, for our nation and for our business council. I... I, I, I Believe we can get there. Yeah. I believe that we have the people, we have the resources, we have the knowledge, we have the expertise to to take a take us to a place where we've never never been before as a people, as a government. I want to say today that 
I believe in the constitution of the Pawnee Nation and I will uphold it as I placed my hand upon that Bible and gave that oath. It is what it is. It, it's what we have and it's our governing documents. It's, it's, it's what we abide by. And, and yes, maybe there's some things that need to be changed in it, but what we have right now, that's, that's the law. And I will uphold the law, the constitution of the Pawnee Nation. I hope that, that our council and, and hopefully through my leadership that we will develop and enhance our infrastructure of, of our grounds here, of our buildings, of our resources. You know, we're looking to, to up, upgrade our, our water system and, and, and make sure, hopefully, that we will never run into a drought again and have, have uh, that water situation again. We're working on that um, through the leadership and of, of uh, Adrian Spotted Horse Chief and bringing this to, to our uh, council. You know, we're looking to get a, a aquatics pool, you know, to, to help us with the uh, exercise and, 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 and to be a blessing to our, our, our people. And, and, you know, we've always talked about the boys' dorm and the superintendent's house that, oh, if we just had the money, we could fix it up, and oh, how beautiful they would be. I hope that we can make it more than a dream, that we can make it a reality. I, I, I have continued support for our elders, our youth, and our children. They're all important. They're all, they're all here, and, and, and we need to listen to our elders. But we also need to listen to our youth and children. You might say, well, they don't say anything. Well, yes, they do. They say things by their actions or, or maybe by their inactions and things. I hope that, that, that we can provide opportunity for them to, to hopefully to stay out of trouble and, and to stay on a good path, an educated path. I, I, I hope for those things for, for our youth and children. You know, I've, I've always been a strong supporter of our public school system. And, and I, I hope that, that our, our, our nation will, will continue to partner with our public school system here in Pawnee because they're the ones that are educating our children. And we have other plans as a nation about education and things that we're looking into, but right now it's still the ones that, that, that uh, uh, you know, give the diplomas to our kids. They're the ones that teach them the, the ABCs and the math and the algebra and the social studies. And, and, and you know, we follow the ball teams and all of those things. So, so I want to continue to support our, our public school system and all the school systems in our area. And, and try to help them as best we can. You know, we've been talking about and, and, and uh, about an agricultural program for the tribe, for the nation, to utilize our land base and, and our our uh, and the land that you have to, to be able to to uh, uh, use the resources that are there and, and you know pecans and, and, and livestock and, and and you know produce and all of these things. I, I hope that we can really get going on that our agricultural program. There's many other things, and, and, and I know that things that, that you have close to your heart and in your mind about what you would like to see happen with the nation. I've always said that my door is open. And folks, my door is open. And I know that these others uh, here on the council, that their, their door is always open to, to listen to you, the ideas that you may have. Let's see what we can do to see what we can accomplish, where we can go. You know, these things take money, don't they? Everything takes money. And so I'm going to say this. I, I support our TDC. I support the business enterprise that we have created. They have their governing documents themselves. I support them. I also support the separation between the Tribal Development Corporation and the Pawnee Business Council. We have a board there. We select the board. Let's let the board be the board. Let them uh, give direction and we, we, just, we just help where we can. So I believe in that separation. Let them do what they're supposed to do. Well, what are they supposed to do? They're supposed to make us money. Amen? <laughs> Let them make us money. The more they can, the better it is. That's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the thing. And so I support that. I support our people. I support our people. You know, there's been some things said about 
about being full blood, full blood Pawnee. And so, well, I'm full blood Pawnee and things and, and all of that. And, and maybe you're, you're here and you're, you're full blood Pawnee. Well, that's great. That's great. However, and let, let me say this that on my CDIB it says four horse Pawnee on my card. We're all Pawnees. We all have a voice. We have a constitution. And we have a right. And one of those rights is the right to vote. Whether you live here in Pawnee or you live somewhere else. I will uphold that. And be supportive of that. I believe and I support our culture. Who we are. Our ways, our dances, our traditions, our ceremonies, all of those things. It's, it's, it's where we've come from. It's, it's what we have. It's what Athias has, has given us. It's what makes us Pawnee. Our ways. And, and folks, we, we have good ways. We have wonderful great way how we do things we do things the way that we do them because that's the way that we do them and so that don't make no sense well that's the way that it is and I thank the Lord for the ways that he has given us I pledge my support to work with the Pawnee Business Council to help in, in any divisions that there might be and, and try to find a, a good way in, in all things. Good way in all situations that come up, all, all the, the things that come before the business council. We're all Pawnees. We need to we need to be good to one another. Especially, especially at council meetings. Yeah. We need to conduct ourselves in a professional, respectful, business way. No matter whether that person agrees with you or not. To be kind and to show love to one another. That's just not the Pawnee way. That's God's way. That's Atheist's way. I will not micromanage our staff. You know, we have, I believe, great directors. We have a great staff assembled. That staff goes down, and uh, I mean, it goes down to our employees. And I've always said this, and I still believe it, and, and I, I will stand to it. I, I will not micromanage. We've got our ED, and then we've got the others under the ED, and then they got the directors, and then they got the employees. What on micromanage? Well, allow our directors to direct, and uh, our employees to be the best employees that they can be, because their work and their effort blesses you, blesses you. And so I want to be supportive of our employees. You know, my dad there, that Bible that he has, that's, that's my mom's Bible. Henrietta. Maybe you knew her as Hanky. That, that was her Bible. And I, I would say this, that my mom would be proud My mom was a beautiful woman, and she was a proud woman. She was proud to be good folks. She was proud of, of her family and proud of her husband. My mom carried a lot of pride. She was proud of her sisters and her brother, former president, uh, Uncle Junior, here on the business council. 
I remember many times of my Aunt Wanda, my Aunt Rena, Aunt Flo, Aunt V, and at times Aunt Betty. They would all get together and they would talk about things, talk about family, talk about things. They even talked about politics. That's the first time I really heard about Pawnee politics. They had unwavering support for my uncle Junior when he was president of the business council. You know, back then I was younger and didn't understand a lot of things, didn't know a lot of things. Maybe I still don't. But I remember listening and and, and that was the start of, of hearing the, the interest and the, the business of the of the nation. I say that because my father, who was president of the business council, my father never brought business home. He never discussed the doings and goings on of the business council in our house. Never, never heard those things from him. And I appreciate that. When he come through the door, he would just stand. You know, I hope to do that. Sometimes it's hard. It's hard. But I hope that I can be a father and a leader like that. Not only to this nation, but to my family. Dad never brought anything home. I always kind of remember that. Try to live by it. I would say this about being a leader. You know, being a leader doesn't mean you're a one who dictates. Being a leader doesn't mean that you know everything and you see everything and you got to respond to everything. Being a leader doesn't doesn't mean that it's your way or the highway. That's that's not what a leader is about. A leader, it's about finding the best way. The best way as a group in trying to bring things together for the, for the betterment of the nation. Being a leader on e way is this is to be a servant. That came from way back. Yeah. Our leaders would serve the people, make sure that their needs were met first, make sure that the elders were taken care of, the young folks were taken care of, make sure that, that things were all in order, make sure that 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 the people, that they could see that leader as one who cared for them. And in caring for them, would help them. That's the Pawnee way. My uppa, Lawrence Goodfox. My grandpa. Adam Pratt, my own father, my brother, <coughs> the head chief, all of them, I've watched them, I've listened to them. They have shown me a good way, a good way to be, a good way to lead. Hope to be there. You know, but it goes farther back than that. Farther back than even our Pawnee ways. It's God's way. Be good to one another. To think of others before yourself. Those, those are the way that Atheus has, has given us. We are Chadixi, Chadix. The men of men. That's who we are. Pawnee. We're Pawnee. 
who we are. Let's all stand together. Let's all pray for, for healing to come. Let's all work together to find that best way, that good path. I said at the beginning, I never dreamed that I would be here. But God always knew. Just like in your life, God has always known. There is not an instance, there's not a day, there's not a circumstance, there's not anything that has ever happened to you in your life that God hasn't already seen and that God was there with you. Right or wrong, He's always been there with you. In closing, I would like to share this. Two of my favorite verses in the Bible. Romans 8.28 says, All things work together for good to them who love God, to them who are the call according to His purpose. Yeah. Yeah. And then probably the greatest verse in the Bible, or at least one of the most well-known, John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever would believe in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. May Adias bless these United States. May Adias bless you. May Adias bless your families. And may Adias bless the Pawnee Nation. Thank you. God bless you.